Here's a brief introduction to some of the important things you can do in the attribute table of your spatial data. In particular, this is um, all vector data that we're working with here. Um, the first thing is to be able to add a field. In ArcGIS Pro, click the Add Field button. It opens a new tab for you where you can um, name your new field and um, choose what kind of data it's going to be. In this case, we're going to make it a text field and then you can control how many characters the field will store. Um, so you do need to close this field, um, this field tab, but you want to save the change. And the save uh, button is up on the main ribbon. So again, um, close the field view to go back to the regular attribute table. But now you can see we've got a new health field uh, and its text. So again, add field opens a new field view where you can create the new name for your field and describe the text type. In ArcMap Desktop, it's a little bit different. Um, it opens an add field wizard where it's the same thing. You can name it and then describe the data type. Short integer just means exactly that. No decimal places, short integer values. They're 16-bit, you know, around um, you know, five um, orders of magnitude. Um, sorry, long integers are really big numbers, but again, whole values, 32-bit. Um, Floating point means it will store decimal places, but it engages the precision and scale fields. Um, the precision, it's a little bit of a misnomer. Precision means how many characters it will store. Um, the negative sign is included as a character. So uh, a precision of five means it'll store, you know, negative 9,999 to positive 99,000. Um, the scale is how many decimal places, which is what I think of as precision. So that's uh, a little bit unintuitive, but um, there you go. And then um, for text, you basically just get to decide how many characters the field's going to hold. All right, let's talk about calculating geometry. Calculating geometry um, means you can calculate areas, perimeters, etc. So here's um, a European data set, polygons. Um, if we look at the properties, you'll see that the coordinate system for this data set is a geographic coordinate system. It's WGS 1984. If we look at the map itself, the map display, and look at that coordinate system, um, it's set to a projection, a projected coordinate system, European equal area conic, because we want to calculate areas. So our map display is set in a projection. The data itself is in a geographic coordinate system. So you right click, calculate geometry, and it opens up a tool for you. The input features are Europe, Notice that it says that this tool modifies the input data. So we're not creating a new output. We're actually just changing the data itself. Notice that the property only has the option for a geodesic calculation. So this is making calculations on the curve. This is brand new to ArcGIS Pro. If we wanted to calculate it in a projection, we could try setting the coordinate system to a projection, but notice it doesn't update this field. We're only allowed to calculate geodesically because the data is in a geographic coordinate system. So unlike ArcMap, we can't use this projected coordinate system. We're still making a geodesic measurement. Um, choosing the units to match the field uh, name, we've just calculated geometry. So in order to make this calculation in a projection, you'd have to actually project this data and change the projection file but ArcGIS Pro allows us to make geodesic calculations for area and distance for the first time, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's gonna change the way we can compare data that's been generated between ArcMap and ArcPro though. That's something to be aware of. In ArcMap Desktop, um, to calculate geometry, you open it the same way, you right click on the field in the attribute table. The property is chosen here just like in ArcGIS Pro, depending on what kind of data set it is, if it's a polygon, you can calculate area, perimeter, um, the x and y coordinates of the centroid, 
things like that. For polylines, you can calculate distance and xy coordinates of the start and end. And for points, you can calculate the xy locations. Um, here, though, in ArcMap, it allows you to use the coordinate system of the data source itself or the data frame, so the display coordinate system of the map. Um, that's very different and is actually, um, I think, much better in ArcMap than it is in ArcPro. And then choosing the units. So like I said, for polygons, you can choose to calculate the area, the perimeter, or centroid. Um, polylines, you can calculate lengths and xy coordinates of the start ends and midpoints and the geometry you can calculate for a point is the xy coordinates okay and then choosing your units really important all right summary statistics this is a fun one um, this is the same european coordinate set and let's say we wanted to know how the unemployment of ireland and italy compared to the rest of the european countries you can open the statistics window and you can see here that the data set has a summary with the mean standard deviation and then our selection has um, the mean summarized. It also shows us a histogram where we can see our selection of Ireland and Italy compared to the rest of uh, the unemployment rates for the rest of Europe. So let's look at that one more time. This is the unemployment rate in 2012 for the European countries. We're going to select manually, select Ireland and Italy, and then right click to open the statistics. And it opens up a couple of panels, a histogram, and then a summary of the values. It shows us the mean, median, standard deviation, count, lowest value, highest value, etc. But it's for the data set and the selection. That's pretty slick. Summary statistics in Arc Map isn't quite as slick, a little bit more straightforward though. So let's just say we want to summarize um, the area. You can right click on the header and choose statistics. And then it brings up a new window where it summarizes that field for you. Um, you can also work on a selection like you can in Arc Pro. It shows you the count. So this is the count of the records being uh, summarized. So what, what ArcMap can't do is show you your, um, your selection relative to the whole, the whole data set. Um, you'd have to um, unselect and then use the statistics to look at the entire data set, make note of it, and then um, make your selection. But count is where you'd verify how many records you have selected and how many you're actually summarizing over. The smallest value, the largest value, um, if you added all the values together, the average standard deviation, and it gives you a histogram as well. Field calculations, making calculations between two fields. Um, you generally want to add a new field to do this into. So in this case, we're going to create a field for population density. We've got states with areas and populations. Um, we are going to set it to be float. And then remember, you have to save your changes up on the main ribbon. And then you're going to close this field to see our new population density field. And here that is. Then you right click and choose calculate field. We're calculating between fields. So this is our table. We want to divide population by the population or by the area. Sorry. And I accidentally put in uh, two division. So double click to put the area in and hit apply or OK. OK, and that's calculated the population um, in. So it's people population divided by the area in square miles. And then we can sort it to see um, what our densest states are or states plus District of Columbia. Okay, so again, adding a field, we're going to name it. I think it's a good idea to put the units in here, but the units are here for area, and that's the only area field we have, so we'll probably get away with it, but uh, that's how I tend to roll. Floating point is safest. Um, I feel like you can control it on the back end. The precision um, 
if you had all values that were less than zero, you would just end up with a bunch of zeros if you didn't have floating point. So right click, calculate field. We know our input table is the states. We want to work on population density and we're dividing population. So double click, single click. And if you make a mistake and double click, fix it. <laughs> and then uh, double click your area field and hit okay. All right, field calculations in ArcMap is very similar. Um, right click to add a, or, sorry, add a field here in your add field window, population density, um, that should not be calculated yet, sorry. So uh, field calculator, calculating between fields, opens up um, a window for you and it's the same thing, you double click, population divided by your area field, okay. All right, and that's it. Any questions, let me know.